In this video, we talk about embryo. Here, the embryo, which is a developed in the micropylar region of the embryo sac. Embryo, which is developed in the micropylar region of the embryo sac, where the zygote is situated. Where the zygote is situated. Here, the most of the zygote divides divides after the formation after the certain amount of the endosperm is formed only here the only a certain amount of the endosperm is formed because of this endosperm which will gives the nutrition to the developing embryo here the zygote most of the zygotes undergoes the divisions after the certain amount of endosperm is formed only because of this endosperm which will gives the nutrition to the developing embryo here the zygote which is gives rise to pro embryo pro embryo then subsequently subsequently this pro embryo which will gives rise to globular shaped embryo and uh, then after heart shaped embryo and then after this heart shaped embryo which is converted into mature embryo mature embryo see here the dicotyledonous embryo we have to discuss about the first one the dicotyledonous embryo see here here dicotyledonous embryo here it, here it is a uh, two cotyledons here it is a two cotyledons here the embryonal axis here embryonal axis which contain a two cotyledons two cotyledons that's why we are calling the dicotyledonous dicotyledonous two cotyledons here the here the embryonal axis above the cotyledon the embryonal axis the portion of the embryonal axis above the cotyledon that is called epicotyle that is called epicotyle 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 which is uh, terminates with the plumule which is terminates with the plumule here above the level of above the level of the cotyledon here the embryonal axis above the portion of the above the portion of the cotyledon so that is called uh, epicotyle epicotyle terminates with the plumule here here this epicotyl here the two cotyledons these are uh, uh, fleshy and uh, abundant uh, reserve food material these are having the abundant reserve food material okay this is about the epicotyl and uh, next the uh, embryonal axis below the portion of the embryonal axis below the cotyledons below the cotyledon portion of the embryonal axis that is called uh, hypocotyl that is called uh, hypocotyl hypocotyl here the below the portion of the below the portion here the cotyledons cotyledons below the portion of the embryonal axis that is called hypocotyl the above the portion of the cotyledons that is called epicotyl epi means above the portion of the cotyledon here the below the portion of the cotyledon that is called hypocotyl here the hypocotyl which is terminates with the radical and a root cap radical and root tip these are radical and root tip which is uh, enclosed by the root cap which is enclosed by the root cap which is enclosed by root cap so this is uh, about the dicotyledonous embryo here the dicotyledonous embryo has the epicotyl and hypocotyl epicotyl terminates with the plumule and hypocotyl terminates with the radical and root cap and uh, coming to the monocotyledonous embryo here the monocotyledons which means a single cot monocotyl which is a single cotyledon here monocotyledon seed which is containing a single cotyledon that is called a scutellum that is called scutellum it has only one cotyledon only the single cotyledon that is called a scutellum which is arranged at the lateral position of the embryonal axis lateral position of the embryonal axis see here the below the portion of the scutellum here below the portion of these scutellum they are having the epicotyl which is containing which is containing the shoot apex and a few leaf primordia these are few shoot apex and leaf primordia which is enclosed by a hollow sheath which is enclosed by a hollow sheath that is called a polyoptile here that is called a polyoptile these are enclosed these are enclosed by a hollow sheath that is a folia that is a foliar sheath there is a foliar sheath that is called a folio Tile. And uh, this is a embryonal axis. Here there is a hypocotyl embryonal <coughs> axis below the cotyledon region. That is called a hypocotyl. 
here this is a ends with a radical and a root cap radical and root cap here this radical and root cap enclosed by a undifferentiated sheath enclosed by a these two are enclosed by radical and root cap enclosed by a undifferentiated sheath that is called polio rhiza is called polio rhiza this is about a monocotyledonous seed here in some in some seeds like the black pepper and the beet they are having the here perisperm they are having the perisperm perisperm which means here the remnants of the new cells remnants of the new cells are uh, persistent remnants of the new cells are persistent here the residual here the residual uh, the residual of the new cells is a uh, persistent this is called a perisperm this is called a uh, perisperm which is occur in the black pepper and uh, beet so this is about the embryo thank you